p.m. 8 14 p.m. now beautiful ambient light evening right here we are in the BMW and you're like by the time you watch this Chris I thought you already got your electric car what's the deal well this might be bittersweet we've had this car for about over five years now quick story if you haven't heard it before February 2012 on the way to a transportation run I actually had my car stolen at a gas station someone literally stole it from me as I was in the bathroom ladies and gentlemen yes that is a long uh, that's a long story very short uh, anyway uh, there was a police chase involved he went to jail restitution is being paid currently five years later of course but it's very very interesting so I've had this car since late February 2012 and it's been a good car I've actually had to do multiple fixes on it but this car actually initiated my one of my first YouTube channels about working on cars and that's DIY save cash is the name of the channel and it's always linked in the description box below so I know a lot of the times people get emotionally attached to cars and I had my Cadillac pre this one for quite a while but uh, you know what it has done its work God has blessed it with being operational and keeping all of my clients safe as I drive them now we're on our last leg God willing of course it's not until the paperwork sign and a check is cut but we're on our way to CarMax right now to sell this car put some cheese in my pocket and then it's gonna be a little interesting Natalie is away for the weekend with her friend and her daughters and so and her friend's daughters I should say and well i'm gonna have to uber x back it's gonna be my second uber ride looking forward to it it's gonna be an adventure packed weekend don't you worry about that one let's hunt that all over to car max and see what we can get ourselves into here we go folks at car max let's go sell this thing well i've never seen my mileage this high before 106 mile range sweet i left it on the charger a long time last night for a full 100 charge right there Again, I have not seen 106. This is fantastic. Well, folks, you gotta start somewhere with electric, and then you graduate to the Tesla later on. God willing, of course, you gotta work a little harder. Or my theory is smarter, not harder, because sometimes harder can yield little results, but smarter can yield very good results. Eh. Take it like a grain of salt. Salt is good, and sometimes it's not good. I don't know. <laughs> Would you take the Model X or the Model S? X or S, which one? No matter what kind of car you have, I'll beat you off the line with this little Fiat. The torque is insane. Look at that Corvette back there. Sorry, Charlie. Of course, he'd smoke me in the long run, though. Oh, and by the way, I was going the speed limit. I did not cross over the speed limit threshold. Ooh, Audi. Beautiful. Pick it up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've just driven over 20 minutes to church, and I still have 95 miles. That's with running AC on the freeway. That was probably less than 50 cents worth of electricity, and that would have been easily probably three plus four dollars in my BMW. Wow. Probably more. This car is awesome. It's funny, this car is so small, I couldn't even see it. I was like, did I just get towed at church? I'm between a Ford F-150 and an Escalade right here with stock. Those gotta be 22s, those are big wheels. Maybe even, no, those can't be 24s. No, maybe they are 24s, those are pretty big. They like have stock hubcaps on them though. I'm gonna see if I can, yeah, wow, those are 24s, very nice. Looking absolutely sharp right there. I remember when 24s, I remember the first time I saw 24s, I was valet parking, I was like, whoa, what are those things? Now you see like 28s and stuff and you're like, that's just ridiculous. Anyway, we're looking absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sunday afternoon. Natalie's not with me, she's enjoying very much deserved time off with her friend and her friend's daughters she is on a little vacation until tomorrow because she starts a new wonderful job on Wednesday I am a little bit delayed with my uploads so that's why sometimes I say a day and it's not even that day I'm trying to get caught back up because I was working 
with my client. So we are gonna go back behind Office Depot, do a little dumpster diving, maybe REI and Nordstrom Rack, and then we're gonna go back out later on tonight. Well, I see some sort of vehicle back there by the dumpster. Don't know if that is security or not. Let's go ahead and see. Do you see that little white car poking its head out? That might be a worker of the facility yep sure is we'll go ahead and skip it and come back later on guys he actually looked like he was leaving so i'm not sure if he's looking at jumping ship or not we might just go in there i might just real quickly go in natalie and i's first apartment and then double back around see if he's still around i wouldn't mind poking in and checking out office depot and seeing if they have any goodies so let's go ahead and head on in here. Natalie and I's first apartment complex. Well, scratch that one. I forgot my uh, key code was integrated in my BMW and the key code does not work. They got a new key code box. So let's go ahead and loop back around and see if that guy is around and go to Office Depot, the original plan. Nothing behind REI. Let's go around by Nordstrom Rack. I think they have a compactor. Sometimes they place some things out front that my brother and I have seen before. Let's go ahead and take a look, but there's a lot of cars back here. This is where all the employees park. There's probably somebody in their car eating. Finally, that guy's gone. I already saw some big boxes, so we're hoping for the best. Let's go ahead and see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. were pretty cool they were like slat wall type of like box shelf organizers definitely a little too big for me for my man cave but uh if you needed some ikea type slat wall on the interior kind of interesting anyway guys i think my days of i mean we're gonna have to change management or something or other i don't know what's going on but there's been a lot of slashing going on the last like year so regional is probably watching dumpster diving videos so when commercial is slow switch over to residential when residential is slow switch to commercial or do both it's a numbers game baby you guys remember this complex we haven't been here forever this is the ps3 fact complex i just saw a dell computer monitor we're going back for it ladies and gentlemen hold on a second looked about to be maybe 20 21 22 if i'm lucky all right let's go back around unexpected that my friends is like a 26 that's definitely bigger than a 24 i'm pretty sure it's bigger than a 24 that thing is pretty massive i want to even say like a 26 possibly 27 that is a great great score folks doesn't look like any brokenness to it there was no cords or anything we'll definitely check it out it was not inside the cans so i'm going 95 percent chance thing is fully working no issues with it. Probably a good thing I came back over to this complex. I was thinking about just going home. I think it's really nice when people don't want to recycle, but they put them in the aisle way so someone else can make money and recycle. I think that's really cool. Hey, there's like a little shoe rack or a big banana rack for your kitchen, something like that. Plus some sort of like green shopping bag. We'll skip out on it. Let's go. Remember those racks that I found? It was actually in these trash cans here. He probably got new ones. It's probably this guy. I just need the uh, side rails that go across the top of the car. Hey, there's some cinder blocks if you want them. And then there's a microwave if you want it. Pick it up. Oh. 